guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a, another project pan video. This project pan is going to be called the Rainbow Eyeshadow Project Pan. I picked out 10 colors and I went through my collection and I picked out an eyeshadow to match each one of the colors. And I'm just going to try to hit pan on the eyeshadows. So if you want to see what eyeshadows I chose, just keep watching. So the first color that I chose is red and it's from my Modern Renaissance palette. The red shade that I chose is Red Ochre this one right here. I feel like it's the most red eyeshadow that I own. So let's give you a swatch of it. This is what the swatch looks like. It looks kind of brown in the swatch but I promise you it is red. And here's a close-up of it. So I'm just going to try to hit pan on it and we're going to see how long that takes me. So the next color I chose is orange and it's from my Master Palette by Mario by Anastasia. And I chose the shade right here called Isabel. And let's give you a swatch of that. <laughs> this is what the shade looks like. So it's another matte shade and I think that I can wear both of these colors together. Um, the formulas are very similar because they're both Anastasia, but I love the Anastasia palette, so let's give you a close-up. So I haven't really used this palette a ton, and I want to get more use out of it, which is why I put this shadow in here. So, we'll see how that goes. The next color that I chose is yellow, and the yellow shadow that I chose is from my Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey palette. I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower outside, but of course they're cutting the grass when I'm filming. So the yellow shade that I chose is this one called Honey Buns. It is another matte shadow. And I know a lot of people didn't like this palette, but I really like this palette. It's not the most pigmented palette, so you have to build up the shadows, but I'd rather have to build up the shadows than not be able to blend them out. So that's the yellow shade if you can see it there. So I think I can wear all of these colors together. Here's a close-up. So I haven't really used this palette a ton either. I picked a shade, each shade from a different palette, just so I can get use out of a bunch of my different palettes and just see pan, more pan in my collection because none of my shadows have pan and I love all of these palettes but you can't tell because I have no pan on all of them. I have so many palettes that you just can't tell which ones I use all the time because I always switch it up. So the next color that I chose is green and the green shadow is coming out of my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. The shade is Bless her heart, the one right here. And let's get a swatch. I love how this palette smells. It smells so good. So here's a swatch of that. It's more of a, it has shimmer in it. And I don't really use green eyeshadow a lot. So I'm hoping that since I put this in this project, maybe I'll fall in love with green eyeshadow looks or something. But I just want to see pan on this palette because I use this palette all the time and you can't even tell. So the next color that I chose is blue and my blue shadow is coming out of the Marine Force of the Sea Volume 2 palette. And it's right here called Riptide. This palette is gonna blind you, I'm sorry. So let's get a swatch of the blue shadow. A lot of people say that they don't like this palette as well, but I like the cream formula that these have. So that's the blue shadow. It's so pigmented. I just like dipped my finger in it and swatched it. But that's what that looks like. And here's a close up of it. And I don't really wear cool tone shades like this, so my Rainforest of the Sea Volume 1 has 
more progress than this, so I want to use this palette more and show it some love. So the next color that I chose is purple, and my purple shadow is coming out of my Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. And I picked the shade Jelly right here. It's just a nice bright purple. And let's give you guys a swatch. I love purple eyeshadow, but I never really wear this bright purple. So here's the swatch, this bright purple one. I never wear, really wear colors like that, but I want to step out of my comfort zone and start wearing bright colors and more colors. So that's why I decided to do this rainbow project pan and start showing some love to my color shadows. So the next color that I chose is pink and the pink shadow is coming out of my Pure Trolls palette and the pink shade that I chose is this one right here called Poppy and let's get you a swatch. I loved this movie so I just had to get the palette. And these shadows are actually really amazing. They're so pigmented. Look at that bright pink. So all these colors are really different, but I feel like I maybe could use them all in one look. Let me know if you wanna see something like that. Maybe I can do like a rainbow eye look with all of these shadows. And this palette is brand new, I just got it. So we'll see how long it takes me to hit pan on that. So the next color that I picked is brown. And just cause everybody needs a brown eyeshadow and I have a ton, so why not get some use out of them? So I picked this shade right here. This is one of my Morphe singles. And this shade is in Toasted Hazelnut. And this is what that looks like. I've used it a few times, but I haven't gotten a ton of use out of it. Um, I've had these shadows for a while, so I need to start using them more because you can't tell that I use them because I have no pan in them yet. Um, so this is the swatch. It's just a nice cool tone brown. I could use it as like a transition shade every day and hopefully that will make me hit pan on it. So we'll see. Um, that one hopefully won't be too hard so we'll see that how that one goes. The next color that I chose is champagne and I chose this ColourPop single in peekaboo. I have a ton of ColourPop singles and they don't get enough use so I just want to see if I can hit pan on one of them. So I chose a nice lid shade and hopefully I can hit pan on it. So there's the swatch. It has a lot of glitter in it. So hopefully I can hit pan on it if I use it as a lid shade a lot. I heard these are easy to hit pan on as well, but I haven't hit pan on any of mine yet. So the last color that I chose is gold, and the gold shadow that I chose is coming out of my Tardis Pro To Go palette. And the shade that I chose is Hype, this one right here. And let's swatch it for you. I love these little palettes because you can just take them when you travel and they're so small and you can get a whole eye look out of all of these shadows. So here's another look at that and there's the swatch right there. So these are the 10 eyeshadows that I picked. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, brown, 
champagne and gold and I'm just gonna try to hit pan on them um, I'm probably gonna run this project till the end of the year and we'll probably start something new in the new year but I just want to get more use out of my shadows and this is a good way that I can do that if you like this video please give me a thumbs up Please subscribe to my channel to see future videos, and please leave comments down below of videos that you would like to see. Thanks for watching! Bye!